welcome back to my mom's video. And today, she's going to be showing you a little story today. So, right now, she's in the refrigerator getting the drink today because she's probably really thirsty. So, I'm going to bring I have a special guest for you. recording in so freaking long but let me tell you why so today is gonna be a little story time it's gonna be just a little bit of story time and then I'm gonna show you guys my apartment so if you haven't realized or noticed by the title I'm back in Texas back and forth from Florida to Texas literally three probably three or four times I first came here in 2019 yeah I first came here in 2019 I went back the same year came back 2020 went back the same year now I'm back so yeah that was three times that's insane but I'm here to let y'all know ain't going nowhere ain't going nowhere ain't going nowhere ain't going nowhere I'm gonna stay right here and let me tell you why so, I felt like I needed to go home only because, well, I felt like I needed to go back to Florida because I felt like I was, like I was missing something, right? So, I was a little homesick. Now, it's going to be a little, some, some, just a few gaps here and there because I don't feel like going through the whole, giving y'all the whole rundown because it's just too much. But, I am engaged, right? When I got here in 2020, that's when I met my fiance we got engaged um i was here in texas my mom she was staying with me at the time but then she went back to florida to be with her husband and take care well not take care of but be there for his mom because she was sick so i was like okay cool so mind y'all i've been with my mom like attached to her like we've been living together since well shit, forever like i'm 26 i'll be 27 in about what a week and a half two weeks may 14th girl getting old and I, i'm cool with that i'm fine but anyway back to the script so yeah so i've been with my mom since i was 26 so when she left me it didn't hit me right away because you know i had my kids and i had my fiance so i pretty much thought i was cool but in reality i wasn't so i pretty much shut down right and when i say shut down like i didn't want to talk i you know pretty much was depressed and i was homesick and it wasn't that i was really homesick i was just missing my mom and then of course i was missing my friends too so i don't really have too many friends here just the people that i work with that was at my old job i don't even work there no more i'm like 45 minutes to an hour away from them so i can't even meet up with them shit like that so that kind of hit home like i don't know about y'all but i feel like every female need you know their friends like their girl companions yeah your fiance your husband they're your best friend all of that good jazz and he is that for me but i have my own identity as a woman you know and i don't i'm not the type that i, I like i've seen some of my friends lose themselves behind their man and i just don't want to i don't want to do that i don't want to go through that i've never had i'm not starting now so i feel like to avoid that you just need to have your own identity as a woman meaning y'all are two separate people but when you guys come together as a whole you know husband and wife you have that relationship right but you also don't want to lose yourself just by being under him 24 7 just that's all you know is just your campaign like your your husband or vice versa but uh versus being your own woman still you know having your friends still you know going out doing what you do but you do it respectfully you know so I don't really go to clubs and stuff like that. I like to eat. As you can tell by this video, I have put on a few pearls, honey. But it's cool. It's all right. I'm going to drop them. I'm just a little happy right now. So, but yeah, I just, I don't want to be so caught up into this relationship to where I lose myself. And all I think about is, you know, 
just him, just all him. I love him to death, I really do. Um, so I just, I hope y'all don't take that the wrong way. But as a woman, you still need your own identity, you know, still be able to, you know, hang with your friends and do what you do. And they're just going to have to respect that you are in a marriage or whatever you got going on with this relationship or marriage, whatever. So, you know, I won't be clubbing, but you know, we can go eat, we can go ball, we can go do this, we can go do that. Respectfully. That's all. So, yeah. So when I went back home, well, me and him had got into like this huge argument. It just blew up and I he just pretty much made it easier for me to go home. So I was like, all right, boom. So I'm going to pack my shit and I'm going to go with my mama because that's where she at. So I ended up leaving him, literally left him. And I went to Florida. This happened December of 2020. So just a few months back. Um, so when I got there, I'm thinking, okay, you know, everything's going to go back to normal. Um, not really normal, but, you know, I'm going to be able to kick it with my girlfriends. Um, I'm here in my hometown. I know where everything's at. You know, it's a comfort zone for me. So when I got there, it was a reality check, and I felt as though I needed that. So what had happened was, you know, my friends... I'm, I'm pretty much the youngest out of the bunch and they're all older. So, you know, they've got their own situations. They got their own, you know, family. We all work. So it wasn't how it used to be when we all could just, you know, click up and go to each other's houses, eat, drink, talk shit. Well, I don't really drink. I sip on wine cool or something. But, uh, yeah, so... It wasn't like that when I went home. Everybody was so busy and everybody, you know, was living life for them and they, you know, was doing their own thing. So it was a reality check for me because it's kind of like, well, Khadija, like, what makes you happy? Like, what are you going to do? Like, everybody is evolving and they have their own situations and you're still trying to figure it out and you're stuck. And I just had to come to realize, like, what makes me happy is being with this man that I left because I was mad. You know, when we could have talked it out and worked it out instead of me just running behind my mom, who's obviously living her life as well with her husband. And then, of course, it just wasn't working out like the like Florida. The cost of living is high for one, because, of course, we got the beaches, the tours, um, the military bases. Like, it's just it's fucking ridiculous if you ask me. OK, so. I'm a medical assistant and I was only making like what $15 there Damn. and the cost of living is so freaking high like for a two bedroom they wanted three times the rent and I would say it started off like probably in I would say ten or eleven hundred dollars a month so like how the fuck am I supposed to do that how to take a few steps back to go you ain't got the answers, man. You ain't yeah. got the answers. You can't. Okay. Versus being here in Texas, which I'm gonna show y'all my apartment. Where well, our apartment, because I'm with my fiance, right? So, <laughs> so I made good money <laughs> being a medical assistant out here, and it's only two times the rent. So if I wanted to. I could be good like i'll be well off by doing this by myself but i have a fiance and he make good money okay so it's it's not so much on me like we work as a team so life is just better easier and i'm happy as you can tell like a bitch can put on like two thousand pounds like we got <laughs> it's giving me real heavy okay giving me real heavy so that's pretty much the quick rundown without getting into the details so I don't bore y'all. But yes, I'm back in Texas. Now I'm in Dallas. The first time I was in Fort Worth and honey, Dallas is busy. Dallas is real busy. Now we're not really in the city. We're on the outskirts of Dallas. So we're in Garland. So it's not, it's not too bad, but the commute it, it's doable. So yeah. Um, and if y'all want me to take y'all on to like a tour, like me and him, he knows Dallas like the back of his hands because he's from here and he's lived here his whole life. So, 
if y'all want me to do a drive with me and i'll take y'all to like different parts of dallas so y'all can see let me know in the comments and of course he'll take me around i'll record and i'll let y'all in on you know how how it is the nighttime on the weekends because that's pretty much when we'll be able to do that because many of them both work during the week and we're off on the weekends most of the time so y'all just let me know if y'all want that so the moment that y'all been waiting for is the apartment tour well, we have a two bedroom, two bath. Each room has their own bathroom. Got the little fireplace or whatever, whatever. I'm not even gonna go through all that because y'all see it in the video. But for just a two bedroom, two bath here in Dallas is only, y'all ready? 1,080 bucks. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. Versus me being in Florida and I'm gonna have to uh, join a goddamn or start up a drug cartel to make it out there. Cause it's too much by myself. But I could do this comfortably by myself, but we're not doing that, honey. Cause my man ain't going nowhere and ain't going nowhere either, baby. We stuck for life. So let's just get into the apartment tour, okay? And I will see you guys in my next video. I miss y'all. I fucking miss y'all, motherfucker. I miss y'all. All right, I'm gone. Baby